fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Galactic 2-in-1 Spaceship from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. As you can see this is part of the Epic Hero series which is the new 4-inch line of figures that uh, Hasbro is doing for Marvel. We've seen it with Spider-Man. We're going to see some uh, new ones coming out soon at Walmart called the Mechsaurs or Mechasaurs. Uh, now they're also doing them for the Guardians of the Galaxy toy line here. Uh, so this is the Galactic 2-in-1 Spaceship. It's basically like a glorified Nerf gun looking thing. Um, initial impressions, I'm not too excited about it. But it does come with an exclusive Rocket Raccoon figure. So I feel like I had to get it to complete the team. Uh, and it looks like there is a removable space pod. So it looks like it only holds one figure, which is also kind of a bummer. I think this is going to be the new ship design from the movie, from what I've been able to see from the trailers. I don't know the name of it yet. Um, I doubt it's called the Galactic 2-in-1 <laughs> Spaceship. Uh, but I kind of like the design of the ship. But if we turn it around to the back here, you can see that it's got this like handle here with a trigger for firing, firing the missile. And I don't love that. It's a little bit more integrated than I expected. I wish there was a way to like swing it back. So like you could just tuck it back when you don't want to use it. And maybe there will be. But also if I wanted to ship for this line. I would hope that it could hold at least two figures. And it doesn't look like that's going to be the case for this. Um, but we obviously we can put at least one figure here in the space pod. And then that clips in up here. It fires the one missile. Comes with three missiles. Um... So yeah, so we'll see. I don't know. Over here we got Rocket hanging out with the ship. Over here we got a nice group shot of the team. Although I do not believe there is a figure for Nebula, which is kind of a bummer. I'm hoping maybe that she's in a Series 2 or something like that. But she is the only one that we have not seen a figure for yet. And uh, obviously there's no Gamora either, but she's not on the packaging. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, the only time will tell with that. But in the meantime, let's go ahead, let's get everything out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. All right, so here is everything you get in the box. Now, there is a lot of assembly that you have to do for the ship. I'm going to move Rocket off to the side for the moment. And, of course, you do get three missiles. I'm going to move them off to the side for the moment as well. Um, the one nice thing I will say about this, though, I feel like if for storage purposes you needed to take it back apart, I don't think that would be too uh, difficult to do because nothing, like, snaps in. It all holds in securely, and I don't really have a problem with it coming apart or anything. But I feel like it would be simple enough to just kind of pull everything apart if you needed to for storage sake. And then you could really condense it down. Um, it's large. I'll definitely say it's large. But as you can see from the back here, it's very hollow. Um, the plastic, I don't want to say it feels cheap because that seems mean. But it is very thin in spots. I don't think it's going to break or snap or anything. I feel like it is fairly durable. Uh, but it does feel thinnish, so it might feel kind of cheap in your hand. But I think overall, it's pretty secure and pretty sturdy. Uh, I believe all of the different colors are achieved by different colored plastic. I don't believe there's any paint on this. Maybe this here on the front of the pod is painted red, but that would probably be about it. Everything else is different colored plastic. It's a neat ship design, and like I said, I don't love the giant handle here. Um, but it does help it kind of stand, which is nice. So maybe we can just pretend it's landing gear or something like that. I do wish there was a way, like if this could just fold back when you're not using it, I feel like that would be nice. And then we could kind of treat it as landing gear or, you know, when you want to fire the missile, otherwise we could just kind of fold it back if we wanted to display. Um, but then I guess it would probably sit like this, which maybe wouldn't look as good. So I don't know. Um... But it is what it is. So you do have three missiles. You just pop this right in here. Uh, they're kind of completely the same all the way around. There's no notches or anything. So there's no specific way you need to feed them in. And they do fire pretty well. Like honestly, it's, I'm not concerned with that. I think that's perfectly fine. It's nice that it has a little missile firing gimmick. I just wish it didn't have the handle here. Like I don't mind the missile firing gimmick at all. If it was just like a button or something. I just don't love the handle hanging off the bottom there. Uh, one thing that is kind of cool, there is storage back here for the additional missiles. So you can see these little notches right here. And so you can just pop these in like so. And that will store your extra missiles. Do I have this? No, let me get this. There we go. Store that one there. Store that one there. 
that's kind of cool. There's actually little pegs around so that you can have the other characters stand. Almost like this is the interior of the ship and it's almost like a little playset. Which I kind of can get that feel from it. Um, or if you just really want them to just be riding along in space, you know, just completely exposed to atmosphere, you could do that as well. But you do have these little pegs around, so just for fun, uh, here is Spider-Man from the Epic Hero series. And we'll just go ahead and peg him in. And so he's just kind of hanging out, can't believe he's in space. And then I have Hulk here. Um, now some of these, they're kind of at different positions, so like these are very close to the edge here. Uh, these are a little bit more spaced out, and then these over here are like a little bit further away. So I feel like I can put Hulk's foot on this one. I think I got this to work earlier. He's got giant feet, so it's kind of difficult, but I think I can peg him in there. There you go. Hulk in space! I'm going to take them off because it's just silly, but I do appreciate that they have those little spots there so you can peg other figures in. So that is nice. Uh, of course, you do have the little pod here. So how this works, you just kind of grab a hold of it and it needs to slide back. Now, I will say one thing for them. This does pop in very securely. It's kind of difficult to get it in and out. That's how secure it is. So if I can get this out of here, come along. There we go. So basically, you have these pieces here on the side that have these little slits. And I don't know how well this is coming. There we go. You can see the slit right there. So these pieces you have to attach separately. They they come because it's a different colored plastic. But it just sits in there. And then it has this slit. And you kind of have to like get it in there. And it's a little difficult. But then once you pop it in here, it's very secure. So it's not going anywhere. So I do appreciate that. So here is the, I guess, escape pod or whatever they're calling this. Let me move Hulk and Spidey out of the way. So like I said, I think this is paint. I think this red here is paint, but I think that's the only paint on the whole toy. Do have some decent molding here for kind of the mechanisms and the machinery that, you know, power the pod or make it work correctly. And then this opens up. Now this doesn't clip in in any way. It just kind of sits there. But I mean, honestly, I don't need it to clip in unless, of course, I'm flying upside down and then you're just exposed to atmosphere there. So I do kind of wish that it clipped in. Um... But I guess as long as you don't have anything, as long as you don't have to do a barrel roll, like in Star Fox, you should be okay. But as soon as you go to, it's going to it's gonna flip around. Now, they do have these little hand holds here so that the character could hold on to them. You know, I'm just going to use Spidey again, because why not? Let's see if I can get this to work. It's kind of difficult to get this to line up for the hand, but there you go. So you have this space coffin, and then this just closes up, and you can have the figure right inside there. It's That's kind of my biggest problem with this. I just wish that if they were going to have a ship for the Guardians of the Galaxy in this toy line, it could hold at least two. I mean, ideally, I'd want it to hold all five, but if it could hold at least two, three figures, I feel like that would be great. Um, and this just, unfortunately, is not going to do that. And honestly, I would say most figures are probably going to be too big for this. You saw... Spidey was kind of a tight fit. So it's meant for Rocket. Obviously, it's meant for Rocket. And Rocket can certainly pilot it. But I guess the others can just peg onto the back and ride along. So in that way, it can kind of hold them all. But I just, I would have liked, you know, just kind of a typical cockpit that you could put two or three figures in. So it is what it is. But this is the little pod here. And then you just take this and then slide it back in here. And these pieces, because you kind of pegged them in separately, and like I said, nothing really like hardcore pegs in, but they have notches and things, and so they just kind of push in. But it's a nice tolerance because the friction is there to keep it in place, but it's not so tight that it's difficult to get it in and out, which is why I think you could break this down for storage if you wanted to, but it holds together. It's kind of like the perfect tolerance. Um, but if I can line this back up, and you kind of have to like maybe get one side started and then kind of come over here and kind of push this in. And that's why I say like you really have to line it up. And it can be a little difficult, but there we go. Once that's in, then you push that all the way in and that sucker's in. That's not going anywhere. And it fits nice, like it sits in this area very nicely and everything. So it's not bad. I mean, I still... 
it's not my ideal spaceship for this line, I will say that. But it's growing on me. I do like the storage here for the missiles. I like the pegs over here to have other characters stand on here. So you could either kind of pretend this is the inside of the ship. You know, maybe it's like a playset in that regard. Or literally just have them peg on there and zoom around as well. You know, you have some options there. So there are things I like about it. It is growing on me. When I first saw pictures of this thing... I, you know, with the big handle on the bottom, and I hated it right away. I was like, why is it like this? I don't want a spaceship Nerf gun. Uh, but it, it's growing on me, honestly. I think the design is neat. I think the colors look great. I love the color scheme. Uh, like I said, the plastic feels a little light, a little thin, but it's not too much. Again, it's kind of that perfect balance between being too thin that it's super cheap feeling and being so dense that it would have to be like a ridiculously more expensive ship because honestly I think the set was already like 35 or 40 which seems kind of nuts but at the same time this is pretty big once you have it all together uh, and we do have our rocket figure which of course I have not touched on yet so let's go ahead and check out rocket so I don't think it's a surprise when I say that rocket is the main reason I was interested in this set and it's a great little figure I mean he really looks fantastic they did a really nice job with him the details, the paint applications, that face, the whole head really just looks absolutely great. I think they did a nice job with the two different tones of the brown. The eyes look good, the nose, the uniform, everything here. Really nice molding and detail. Uh, the head is on kind of a minimal ball joint, so you can certainly look side to side, no problem. Really don't have too much in the up and down. Very minuscule amount you can kind of see there. Uh, you do have a hinge here in the shoulder as well as a rotation as well as a hinge and a rotation in the elbow uh, nothing in the hips he does have kind of an out to the side hinge and then he obviously you can sit forward there at the hips and then he's got the hinge and rotation at the knee so pretty much all the same articulation the other figures have now in regards to the tail i don't know if the tail is supposed to move or not i can kind of get it to swivel down a little bit but it doesn't really feel like it wants to move and i'm really afraid that i'm just twisting the peg inside so i'm not going to play with it anymore so i think it's just kind of meant to be out to the side so be a little wary about that now you can kind of see he's a little bow-legged the way his legs are it's kind of impossible to get his legs straight down but i don't really have a huge problem with that uh, luckily because he is smaller he should still have no trouble fitting inside the uh, pod, even though his legs are a little bow-legged. He also doesn't come with an accessory. I would have liked it if he had come with some kind of gun, since that's kind of his whole shtick. Um, so it is a little bit of a bummer that he didn't come with any kind of... Just any kind of accessory. It really would have been nice. But it's still a really nice figure. I think they did a great job with it. Now for a little size comparison here. Here he is with Spidey from the same line. So you can tell he's definitely not, I wouldn't say half as tall as Spidey, but very close. You can see he kind of comes up to about his waist. I think the box says that he's like two and a quarter inches tall, which makes sense because obviously in universe, he's a smaller character. I am also having some trouble getting him to stand and I think I just need to rotate. There we go. Rotate at the knees. So there's that. Let me angle this up ever so slightly. And then, of course, here is the Hulk as well, who's a larger figure. So I think it's kind of fun. You know, everyone's kind of in scale. We have Rocket, we have Spidey, we have Hulk, and they're not all the same size. They make sense in regard to each other. I mean, Hulk could probably even be a little bit larger, but it works. I think it's good enough. So I like having this line so far, have everyone kind of in proportion to each other. I think Rocket looks really great. I just wish he came with a gun of some kind, some kind of accessory. So that's going to do it for the Galactic 2-in-1 spaceship. And honestly, I like it more than I thought I was going to. I always kind of expected them to pack Rocket with some kind of vehicle because he's a smaller figure and you can't really just put him in a box and sell him on his own. So I kind of just thought it would make sense. You know, the Guardians are famous for having these wonderful ships and I just figured he would get packed with the spaceship. So I was right about that. But I did not really expect the spaceship to turn out like this. I still don't love the giant, you know, missile firing handle here with the trigger. 
it's becoming less offensive to me the more I handle this and the more I look at it. I do like that at least they didn't put like a giant orange tip or anything here so it can kind of integrate into the color scheme of the ship and not seem so garishly out of place. I do still kind of wish there was a way that this could kind of rotate back out of the way so that way if you wanted to just kind of display it as the ship. I mean technically when you're assembling this you could leave this out. You would have an empty space here but you could do that. I mean this is a completely self-contained piece here. Uh, it's not like it's super long or anything. If we spin this around on the back, you can kind of see that that's just where it stops. So when you're assembling this, if you wanted to leave that out, technically you could. You would just have a little bit of an empty space here. So that might look a little off. The other thing you could probably do if you really didn't care about the missile launcher, I guess you could maybe try to cut this piece off. But I feel like that would be more trouble than it's worth. Honestly, it's not that bad. I don't love the fusion you know, of, of like a Nerf gun with the ship, but it's not as egregious as I thought it was going to be when I first saw pictures. I do like the design of the ship. I think the color scheme is great. Everything being done with different colored plastic is kind of nice in a way because that way you don't have to worry about paint fading or chipping over time or anything. Like I said, I think the only paint is here on the canopy of the smaller ship. I do wish that this had a larger cockpit and we could just put two or three figures. Like if this whole area here was just kind of filled in and, you know, this was deeper down here and you could just open up a lid and put two or three figures in here. I'd actually be fine with that, even if it still had this. I just think that would work better. I mean, I do appreciate having the pegs around here so that you can have the other characters attach. And you can almost kind of pretend like this is an inside the ship playset if you wanted to kind of pose them around. It's a little bit of imagination needed, but at least you could do something like that. Or if you really just wanted to peg them on and just pretend that's how they're riding on the ship. Uh, maybe like have them in a sitting position sitting on here but still pegged in or something like that I don't know I'm just trying to make stuff up I do appreciate the storage for the extra missiles as well I think that's kind of cool the little pod is somewhat successful like I said it's a little small it's definitely meant for rocket it can fit some of the other figures like I showed spider-man kind of barely fit in there um, but it's definitely not going to be like you know Groot or Venom or Hulk certainly are not going to fit in there um so it is what it is in that regard. I also do kind of appreciate the fact that this probably won't be too difficult to take apart if I want to break it down for storage, just because this as it is could will probably take up a lot of space. And everything, like I said, it fits in together snugly, but nothing clicks in to the point that it would be impossible to take it apart again. Um, but it's not so flimsy that it doesn't hold together. Like this thing is not falling apart. Everything's pretty snug. I mean, the way they have this, they have these notches here on the rings that kind of fit over top of these pieces that peg in here to the side of these pieces. And everything really does, like I just kind of pushed it in together a little bit more there, but it's still, it's not going to fall apart. I mean, you could easily pull it apart, but you know, that's what you want to be able to do if you want to take it apart for storage. So I do appreciate that. Um, again, it's, it's definitely a lighter plastic. It, it's not so flimsy that it feels cheap but it's not like so thick that it feels heavy duty it's kind of that perfect medium um so they can kind of keep the price point somewhat reasonable so honestly at the end of the day i like it more than i thought i would i know i kind of went around a long way to get back there um i do like the design i just i was a little disappointed because i wanted that kind of larger natural cockpit area to hold more of the characters but I think I can make this work. And the Rocket figure is fantastic. I really love him. Uh, be careful with the tail. I don't want that to snap on you. And I do wish he came with some kind of accessory. You know, just some kind of handheld weapon. Whether it was a gun or a sword. or I mean, a gun obviously makes the most sense. But maybe, you know, one of the other figures has something I can let him borrow. Or something like that. Um, but that's kind of my, my biggest complaint as far as the Rocket figure goes. I really do wish he had some kind of accessory. So take it what you will. Um, I'm kind of just saying the same thing over and over again at this point. But I do like this. I definitely like it more than I thought I would. I love the Rocket figure. That is definitely the main reason I got this. But the ship's growing on me. And I think once I see the movie, it'll probably grow on me even more. So only time will tell. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. Do you think this thing is cool? Is it kind of underwhelming? What were your expectations going into this? Did you have any expectations? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks so much for watching.